Hello, this is Debbie Darkside. This is attempt number two of blog number eight. And we're going to see how this will go. I had to restart because I totally forgot about something. I have a friend who I met on PlayStation Home a while ago who wanted me to do a shout out. So, shout out to Ski175. Hello. Okay, I'm done. So, um, transition wise, things have been going a little bit better, but few little issues here and there. Um, one thing is I'm on my fourth month on hormones and during my third month I started taking Provera as well which um, helps with breast growth. The um, Which so far has been highly amusing. I mean the hormones make them grow anyway and changes your, sens your nipple sensitivity but now they're getting a little larger and the nipples are definitely taking on a larger shape. So that's something to expect when you get on it yourself, if you do. Um, the only thing, really, that's been kind of an ongoing issue, and I kind of want to talk about it, because anyone transitioning, you're going to get this a lot. And it, some people may not get it, and but this is basically a message more, not necessarily for you guys transitioning, but for people who aren't. When I have this thing where... In my personal opinion, I feel that if you meet someone transitioning, or just even a transvestite, if you see someone dressed as a woman or a man, address them as such. Give them those pronouns instead. You know, like, if you see, what, you know, see a transvestite who, you know, man dressed a woman, just, you know, you know, if you're talking about them, be like, oh yeah, I was talking to her, she was cool, or... Oh, there, um, there's that woman over there. I mean, it's fairly straightforward because, frankly, it gets really old to be called a sir when, to be completely honest, I'm not going to be a sir. In fact, I'm technically not anymore. The moment I took hormones, I became a transgender. You know, and frankly, I want to be addressed as a woman. I wouldn't go through such a big change if I didn't. I mean, I don't think anyone goes through the operation of thinking to themselves, it'll be great to be a sir of a vagina, won't it? <laughs> so, please, anyone not transitioning, bear that in mind, just out of common courtesy and respect for others who are. You know, it's kind of a big deal. And frankly, whenever I'm called a man or I'm insulted for transitioning or... To some people, they'll think I'm just cross-dressing. You know, it really does hurt. And to me, it is a form of discrimination. It's almost the equivalent of calling me a faggot, or whatever terms they use for white people now. I don't even know. Um, the more negative ones, things beyond cracker. Though cracker's kind of... Eh. But anyway, I'm just saying, that's just... Me telling the public, if they're even li if anyone even listens to my channel, that um, just have some respect for anyone transitioning. I mean, I mean, if you're a guy, would you want people to call you a woman, or if you're a woman, would you want people to call you a guy? If your answer is no, then you know exactly how I feel. You know, just common respect, because it happens too much. But on a bright note, though, my my aunt and my uncle and my cousins I saw, thanks to my cousin Josh's graduation, and I doubt any of them see this, but if Josh, you stumble upon this somehow, congratulations, I'm fucking proud of you. But, um, they're actually accepting the transition very well. And, I don't know, the more family support I get, the more friend support I get, I feel so awesome. Because... And coworkers too, in general. I mean, the more support I get in this, and the more things people get more used to it, the more comfortable it all becomes for me, and that really helps. Not just that, but <laughs> I had a very odd um, person hit on me on OkCupid. Yes, I'm on a dating site, though I've I put on I'm not single because I I am dating Tiffany, who is my long distance girlfriend, but. I still have a, I still have the page, but it says I'm not, ta I'm taken, but whatever. 
I had a guy randomly go, because there's a section that says, most private thing you're willing to admit, and I'm fairly ballsy, I'm willing to admit almost anything, and the one I put down was how, when I was a pubescent boy, how I once had a hard-on in a changing room, and I used that as a towel rack, I, after I dried off plop. And I got a guy hitting on me on there once, and he was like, so, um, you know, I totally can dig a chick who has a towel rack, and I'm just like, motherfucker! <laughs> <sighs> so yeah, that was a bit embarrassing, and I'm definitely going to change that now. So, to any of you who have an OkCupid, you can add me on there if you want. I won't date any of you, probably, unless I get single, which I doubt for a while. And, um, well... Witness it while you can, because after I'm after this video is on YouTube, I'm probably gonna delete it and change some change it to something else entirely. Possibly as embarrassing, but whatever. <laughs> the other thing I guess I should mention, just out of complete silliness, is that um, I um, last video I cut off right when I was mentioning my hair, how I had it red and black, and went for a dying fiasco cut off right when I was going like so, and I'm sorry about that, my camera's battery was really low and I didn't know. In this case, the reason my hair is blonde is I was trying to dye it purple, and the purple came out gray in some spots, green in others, blue in others, it, it was a mess. I looked like I came, I don't know, I looked toxic, it was bad. So, I re-bleached my head the day after, which is a bad idea. Don't do it, because your head will burn. And, um, yeah, now I am a neon blonde. And a lot of my friends really like it, and I do too, so I might be sporting this for a while. On top of that, other news, I um, decided I'd get back into my instruments and try to get myself into music again, because I really miss it. The last time I did any sort of music project seriously was with my friend Brandon in a band we called Sotri, which stood for Society of the Religiously Incorrect. We never played a live show and we barely even had a song down, but we had it felt really nice, you know. He was on guitar, I was on cello, we both sang, and we had a unique sound going. He went to the Air Force and ha has a whole new life now, and it's totally different, but I decided I was going to see about getting into from recording my own stuff and once I do it'll be up on the same YouTube channel under um, under a file known as Devisor which is what I'm gonna call it unless I find that name is taken then we're gonna call it some I'm gonna call it something else it's just gonna be me by myself mixing um, nerdcore with punk and we're gonna see how it turns out it'll even involve my cello which I don't know, it's going to be on crack, I'm sure. But, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my life. Sorry I've been taking so long. It's more or less I'm trying to find things to say that are new and interesting rather than the same old videos of, this is what I'm like on hormones, same thing as last time. Because I know that'll get really old. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and for the support. It's been amazing. And with that said, live long and prosper. And until next time, peace out and stuff.